Dr. Masaru Emoto was a Japanese researcher who dedicated his life to studying water. He believed that water was much more than a simple substance. Emoto's most famous work involved exposing water to different stimuli, including words, music, and even emotions. He then froze the water and photographed the resulting ice crystals. The results were stunning. Water exposed to positive stimuli, such as love or gratitude, formed beautiful, intricate crystals. Conversely, water exposed to negative stimuli, like hate or anger, formed distorted and chaotic crystals. Emoto's research suggested a profound connection between water and energy, hinting at a hidden realm beyond our everyday perception. His work, while controversial, captured the imagination of many. Could our thoughts and emotions truly have a tangible effect on the physical world? This question, once relegated to the realm of mysticism, began to find new meaning in light of a revolutionary scientific field, quantum physics. Quantum physics studies the universe at its smallest level, atoms and subatomic particles. The discoveries in this field have been nothing short of astounding, challenging our classical understanding of reality. One of the most bizarre findings is that the observer plays a crucial role in shaping reality. This is known as the observer effect. Imagine a tiny particle existing in multiple states at once. This is a quantum superposition. Only when we observe the particle does it collapse into a single state. It's as if the act of observation forces the particle to choose its reality. This concept might seem like science fiction. However, it is a cornerstone of quantum physics. The observer effect suggests that our consciousness, our very act of observing, can directly influence the world around us. This brings us back to Emoto's work. Could our thoughts and emotions, forms of observation, be influencing the structure of water at a quantum level? Let's delve deeper into another fascinating concept, quantum entanglement. Quantum entanglement is perhaps the most mind-boggling discovery in quantum physics. It states that two particles, once entangled, remain connected regardless of distance. Imagine two particles, once part of the same system, now separated by miles. If you change the state of one particle, the other particle instantly changes its state to match, no matter how far apart they are. This instantaneous connection transcends the limitations of space and time as we know them. It suggests a hidden web of interconnectedness permeating the universe. This interconnectedness might be the key to understanding how our thoughts and emotions, even if seemingly intangible, can have a real and measurable impact on the physical world. Think back to Emoto's water crystals. Could the water molecules be entangled with the thoughts or emotions directed towards them? Could this entanglement explain the dramatic changes in the water structure? These are intriguing questions that scientists are only beginning to explore. However, the implications are profound. They suggest that we are not isolated entities, but rather interconnected parts of a vast entangled web. Section four, beyond the lab evidence and support. While Emoto's work was groundbreaking, uh, it wasn't without its critics. Some argued that his methodology wasn't rigorous enough. Others claimed his results were subjective, influenced by his own expectations. However, recent research has emerged that seems to support Emoto's findings. For instance, studies have shown that water molecules can form complex structures beyond the simple H2O we learn about in school. These structures, known as structured water or exclusion zone water, exhibit properties different from regular water. They seem to be more responsive to electromagnetic fields and subtle energies, including perhaps the energy of human intention. Moreover, studies on the impact of human intention on living systems have yielded fascinating results. Experiments on the effects of prayer on healing and studies on the power of placebo all point towards the undeniable influence of the mind on matter. While more research is needed to fully understand the mechanisms at play, the evidence is mounting. It supports the idea that our thoughts and emotions are not merely ephemeral impulses confined to our heads, but rather powerful forces capable of shaping the world around us. Section five, the power of thought, a new understanding. The implications of these discoveries are far reaching. Our thoughts and emotions are not simply abstract concepts. They are potent forces capable of influencing the very fabric of reality. This understanding empowers us to become conscious creators of our own lives and the world around us. 
If our thoughts can influence water and our bodies are largely composed of water, imagine the impact we can have on our own health and well-being. Positive thoughts, emotions of love and gratitude can potentially create a ripple effect, influencing our physical bodies and the world around us in a positive way. Conversely, negative thoughts and emotions of fear, anger and resentment can create disharmony and imbalance, potentially contributing to illness and negativity. This understanding calls for a radical shift in perspective. It invites us to cultivate a mindful awareness of our thoughts and emotions, understanding that each thought, each feeling, is like a seed we plant in the garden of our reality. Section 6. Implications for our lives. The realization that our thoughts and emotions have tangible power is both liberating and daunting. It places a profound responsibility on our shoulders. We are no longer passive observers in the grand play of life. We are active participants co-creating our reality with each thought, each feeling and each action. This knowledge invites us to approach life with a renewed sense of purpose and intention. By choosing our thoughts consciously, by cultivating positive emotions, we can become architects of our own well-being and contribute to a more harmonious and loving world. Think of the power of a collective prayer, a global meditation, or simply millions of individuals choosing love over fear. If our thoughts and emotions are indeed entangled, imagine the transformative potential of such a collective shift in consciousness. The mysteries of water and the revelations of quantum physics converge to paint a breathtaking picture of reality. It is a reality where our thoughts and emotions are not merely confined to our minds, but rather powerful forces shaping the world around us. This understanding opens up a universe of possibilities. It invites us to explore the depths of our own consciousness, to harness the power of our thoughts and emotions for healing, for transformation and for the betterment of ourselves and the world. It reminds us that we are not isolated islands, but rather interconnected threads in the vast tapestry of life, our thoughts and emotions weaving patterns of energy that ripple out into the universe. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of consciousness and the quantum realm, one thing remains clear. We're on the cusp of a profound shift in our understanding of ourselves and the universe we inhabit. It is a shift towards recognizing the interconnectedness of all things, the power of human intention and the infinite potential that lies dormant within each of us.